look at this place. I can't imagine choosing to come here. My mother must have been terrified. I don't blame her. Your father is not exactly a... I feel terrible for the dead who end up here for eternity. It seems awful. Like they're still suffering. Yeah. Ugh, the smell here. Let's try to handle this quickly. Yeah, it does kind of smell like... I don't know what... Old meat and magic? That's the last time I argue with a Dramora. Wait. As long as those things don't attack us, we should be fine. That sky feels like I'm being watched. Can't stand it anymore. You all right? Well, no, that's a stupid question, but Oh. Yeah, that's a little, I don't know, disconcerting, might be the word. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. What exactly is an Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. All right. And how can I do that? Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! I think he's a little... long gone. This should be fun. And another question. What is this thing? You know, I kind of don't want to know. I assume that's where we're headed. Could be wrong, but... Wait, is this Arvac? Serana. I've just realized a potential problem with this. There are no Look at the sky. What kind of place is this? It's a kind with no living people in it. This should be fun. what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. Eh, some. Is, uh... Is that you? Let's just say I sold something to a guy 
who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. How in the name of Zenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double-cross a necromancer? You don't look like much of anything right at the moment. But, uh... Rough way to end up here, I suppose. You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. How people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Anything left? Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. Fair enough. What does win you friends besides gold? I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly fungus looking things growing out of the ground. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Sorry. Green Pact. You understand. See you around. If you live long enough. Huh. I'd heard stories about the sword, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's about what I imagined. You've heard stories about it. I was hoping it wouldn't smell this bad. <laughs> Do you know anything else about this place? Just what my mother told me. I've also studied a little bit on my own, but there's not much. When something is trapped in a soul gem, and then the energy is used for powering an enchantment, the remnants are sent here. Any soul gem? Well, I think it's specifically the black ones. I don't know if the soul cairn takes just any leftovers. So, pretty much nothing lives here. Look at this place. Do you think anything would want to live here? The only things that can survive here are the ideal masters, the undead, and the souls themselves. Well, if you want to call that living. I'm not sure I do. Do you think we'll meet the ideal masters? I don't think anyone's ever met the ideal masters. I'm not even sure anyone knows what they look like. They could be underground, flying above us. They might be the ground, I, I have no idea. They might be the sky. Any idea why they're collecting these souls? Lots of theories. Some say they feed on them like I feed on blood. Others think they use them as payment to an even higher power. Almost like a currency. A very strange currency. Whatever they're doing with them, they've been harvesting for millennia. No telling how many souls are trapped here. Great. And why would a necromancer want to deal with them? Look around you. There are some extremely powerful undead here. Even a necromancer as seasoned as my mother would be willing to spend years trying to gain access to them. Summon them, you mean? Exactly. It's a lost art. Most necromancers just raise up whatever bodies are nearby. A simple trick, really. Child's play. But bringing something from the soul cairn gives you something much more powerful. Great. And how do the necromancers communicate with them? Oh, that's usually the trick. It's possible to do it through a simple portal. But to finalize the deal, you have to travel here yourself. And most of them never come back. Of course. I probably should have asked this before we came, but are you sure your mother has the Elder Scroll? No, but there's no way she would have left it in Tamriel. She wanted to get it as far away from my father as possible. I can't imagine a better place. Yeah, that's fair. What do we do if she doesn't? Then we find out where she hid it. If she's still alive. Well, as alive as she was before. Or as now. Or... You know what I mean. I do. Why not hide it in the soul cairn and then come back herself? Probably to avoid whatever my father would do to her if he could get his hands on her. Or maybe her plan was to come back, but she was stuck here. We won't know until we find her. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's just find my mother and get out of here, quickly. I'm gonna hazard a guess. I'd say she's probably up there somewhere. Look at the sky. 
kind of place is this? That damn sick one. While I'm thinking about it, I did not. Well, I have one. I suppose that'll have to be good enough. Great. I'll deal with that when I deal with it. And here I am lecturing Arden about taking care of himself. For his skull, right? And I don't see it anywhere. I'm not gonna risk following a skeleton horse. I've heard stories about the soul. I see it myself. So far, it's about what I imagined. This is a god's awful place, place, though. I can't imagine. My mother must have been terrified. I can't tell if this is sand or ash. It's a little disconcerting. Oh. This Mother? must be. Mother! Maker. It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't. You. Come forward. I would speak with you. I'm standing so right how here. has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Mixed blood, huh? I mean, that's, I suppose, a polite way of putting it. I've been keeping her safe. Or trying my best to, anyway. Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's why we're here for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. Explain? When I fled Castle Volgahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. You know, I kind of wish we'd brought Arden with us. He's a lot better at interpreting these things than I am. And how exactly does Serana fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Are you suggesting that Serana underwent this ritual willingly? 
It was expected of her, just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. I would like to know her opinion on the matter, but... So the tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Understood. Harkon means to kill her. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I don't think she'd need to die for that to happen, but... Not like I would allow it in the first place. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? Well... I guess one option would be to kill Harkin. If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? I don't know. Did you? And what exactly is Serana's opinion on all this? It seems to me she doesn't exactly get asked very often. You care nothing for Serana. Or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. You have a very interesting opinion of me, and one that is very wrong. But, I suppose we're all entitled to them. Opinions, I mean. Serana believes in me. Why won't you? Serana? This stranger may call himself a vampire, but he knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to him? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, Serana. If you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. To be fair to you, my intentions are still somewhat unclear to me as well. Do you happen to have the scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. What do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. All right. We'll be back soon. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevere roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The Ideal Masters have charged him with overseeing the Keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Of course. It had to be dragons. Before we head out... Never mind. We'll be back soon. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. I don't think she needs any help from me in that regard, but I'll do what I can. Alright. 
Let's dump the spires in. I'm guessing those would be the floating ones. And I saw one over here somewhere. I thought. What is that thing? Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. Yeah. Getting distracted is not exactly on the agenda, is it? What have you got? Well, maybe it is. But there's something going on over here. Ah. teach you how to call him to you. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Marvak for me. Such a good horse. I mean, I already have a horse, but thanks. I think. Before we get ambushed by anything else, the sooner we get out of this place, the better. Are you alright after talking to your mother? She seems a little... intense. Relieved, I think. All those things have been building for a while. You have no idea how long I wanted to say that to her. Why did you ever agree to her... her plan? Look, I loved my father, but when he found that... that became his life. Everything else, even me and my mother, we just became clutter. I was close with my mother, but she just kept feeding me her opinions of him, and eventually I started believing them. I mean, she didn't seem too fond of him. The moment we gave ourselves to Molik Ball, things got really icy between them. They were both drunk with power, and pulling in different directions. And then he found that prophecy, and that was it. And you got caught in the middle. I was. Honestly, it took me up until now to figure out that my mother was really just as bad as he was. He was obsessed with power. She was obsessed with seeing him fail. It was just so... toxic. Maybe I could have seen this coming. We could all be better off now. Hey, don't blame yourself for it. It's hardly a situation you asked for, right? You don't know what it's like, coming from a family like that. Everything eventually tumbles down to you. Anyway, we should keep moving. Yeah, that's fair. Remember how I told you my father wasn't exactly in the picture? Well... I did have a stepfather, but... You're right, I, I still don't know what it's like. Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm sorry if I misstep. Just yell at me. I'll endeavor not to do that. Wait. I knew it. Got him. 
Ouch. We're gonna have to find some way up there, aren't we? Great. Huh. What have you got? Oh, hello. Hmm. Not very impressive. That was what I like to call very lucky. Great. Did your mother ever warn you about these slime things? Because they're kind of disgusting. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this at all. Frankly, I don't think either of us could. But that's saying more about me than you. Saying something dramatic and then being turned upon scum. I'm gonna smell like a bug for a week. Great. Ah, oh, there's the next one. Or. Yep. There's the next one. This will be fun. 